Hey, thanks for watching Skip Feed. The goal for this video is going to be to disassemble the rear uprights and get them ready to be rebuilt. Uh, so let's get to it. So disassembly of an IRS knuckle. I'm going to start with taking off the caliper, which is a 13 millimeter uh, here and ear on the bottom which you can't really see and then taking off the caliper bracket it's 15 millimeter again two bolts and that should free us up to move around to the other side let's see what we can do here and the lighting is miserable so uh, then we'll take off the 36 millimeter nut holding the axle shaft in uh, hopefully this one will slide right out the other axle didn't um, then we're going to press out the uh, cross axis joint on the top and one on the bottom again this particular knuckle is a, a, a 99 model that was recalled so there's no snap rings on it so it should just press right out and, uh, and that'll be it so we'll move over to time lapse and and knock this out. So things haven't gone exactly as planned. I guess that's why they call them projects. Um, so a little history on the independent rear suspension is I, I bought this thing m many years ago. Uh, it was sold to me as a uh, 2001 uh, from a Cobra, of course. Um, I, I haven't had time to do a whole lot with it. It's been sitting around. When I got it, it was in, in really bad condition, been sitting out in the weather. I plan on replacing pretty much everything, so I, I just wanted to the skeleton of it and the you know control arms and and the uprights uh, so my plan for this was to uh, disassemble one of these so I got the process down of disassembly and then I was going to walk you through the process of the other and I'm still going to do that uh, but I hit a snag while disassembling the first one um, I'm looking at, at the cross axis joints uh, going to pull them out and they're supposed to have a snap ring that holds them in place and these don't have snap rings and then it, it dawned on me that these are the 99 model uprights knuckles whatever you want to call them that didn't have the snap rings that were recalled by Ford and nobody makes parts for them so I'm, I'm on a quest to find another set of knuckles uh, but this is what I've got right now trying to get the axle out and it is thoroughly rusted into place uh, here's the, the cross axis joints um, like I said I pre pressed them out with, with no real trouble um, the newer one newer style that weren't recalled have machine surfaces um, so I, I may see you can't quite tell these are so dirty but they aren't machine they're just as cast So I may see if I can get these machined and save them as a, a spare pair. Um, but anyway, the hunt's on. We'll see if we can find another set of, of uprights. So my uh, used knuckles have shown up to replace the 99s. These are supposed to be from a 0304 Cobra. Let's open up and see what we got. Uh, 
obviously from eBay. Packing peanuts, great. Give them credit for packing. There's one. Looks okay. It does have a snap ring, so we know it's the newer style. Yeah, should clean up okay. That one's the right hand. Let's open up the other one. If you can see that, the well, wheel stud is backing out. Luckily, I plan on replacing the hubs and the lug nuts, or the wheel studs. This one's left hand. A little bit of play in them. I plan on replacing the cross axis joints anyway. But these are snapped ringed and they look good. Just need a little cleanup and we're back in business. So I got the other two knuckles disassembled as far as I could get them. The axles are, are just rusted into place. So I'm gonna to have to take them to, uh, to my press and press them out. Fortunately, my press isn't here in the garage. I've got it in, in another location. So this is one of the, the O3 Cobra knuckles um, disassembled to a similar similar state i'm going to take the hub out and the bearing out because i'm going to replace them as well i need to do the uh, the cross axis joints on here you've seen that already so there's a big snap ring in here so i need to get the snap ring out and, and before i press anything then go from there Snap ring out. Uh, the right size fixtures to, to press out the rest of it. All right, so now we're gonna press out the hub uh, from the bearing. Uh, usually these come out pretty well. Let's see.
And I've got a, what is this, a 30 millimeter, 30 millimeter socket in the middle. Just as something to press. It's about the right size. It's already starting to move. Ta-da! hubs out. This one actually looks like it's in pretty good shape. Happy. Alright, now we can press the bearing out. And I won't lie, it makes a lot of noise. And this one's in there tight, or at least they're usually in there pretty tight. I will probably jump. Ooh, it went without making much of a fuss. Let's see if it keeps going. There it is. That one came out easy. And this is one of the, the pressure plates in the uh, the Harbor Freight kit. Uh, in fact, I don't think I've shown you the Harbor Freight kit. Let me uh, spin you around. So this is the Harbor Freight. I think they call it a yeah, front wheel. It's upside down for you front wheel bearing adapter and it's got lots of good, lots of good options for for pressing these things out uh, helpful it's about a hundred dollars uh, definitely worth it all right now I just want to show pressing out one of the wheel studs they're pretty pretty easy to get out usually pop right out and I'm done easy peasy so that's gonna about do it for this video um, on the next video I I hope to get everything cleaned up and reassembled uh, and we'll walk through that process uh, I may have another video or two in between those working on some other things um, I've got Got a tool I want to try making, uh, which would be, be kind of cool, I think, um, and, and some other non-car non content that I want to make. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe uh, if you enjoy this kind of stuff, and I'll see you in the next one.